So when was the last time you made a mistake in your knitting and you didn't realize it until you were several rows ahead? Well, hey there, and welcome to episode 13 of Be Hooked TV. I'm your host, Brittany, and little known fact about me, 13 is my favorite number. Well, I'm excited about this one, regardless of the fact that it's my favorite number, because we're talking about knitting mistakes once again. I know this is something that you struggle with, and it's something we're tackling together. So today, we'll look specifically at how you can fix your knitting mistakes once you've realized you've made it several rows ahead. Before we do though, you know what to do. Subscribe to this show if you haven't done so already. I would love to hang out with you next week and help you improve on your knitting and crochet skills. And when you subscribe to the show, well, YouTube will let you know when I have a new video available. Now a lifeline is really just a string of yarn that runs through the entire width of your project. So it basically runs through every single stitch and you have that in place just in case. Now, hopefully you won't need that lifeline and you can pull it out after so many rows, but when you do need it, when you do make a mistake, it really is your lifeline. So first let's have a look at how to put a lifeline in place. And then we'll talk a little bit more about why you should do this in the first place and why you should plan to make a mistake, even though you really don't want to. So let's exist in the real world for a second and address what happens when we've made a mistake, but we don't have a lifeline in place. So here you can see in my swatch, I've made my mistake right here. So what I need to do then is put my lifeline in the row below, that way I'm not ripping out more stitches than I need to. I will need to grab the right leg of each stitch in this row. Okay, so I have my lifeline in place there. Now I can start frogging. Now each of my stitches are safely on that lifeline. I can go ahead and just pick it back up with my needle. In a lot of cases, we'll have pearls incorporated into our row and we have to do things a little different. Really, we just need an extra step. So here I have a few rows where I'm working in just a two by two rib. This will work for any knit pearl combination stitch. And for the knits, you always want to grab that right leg. So my first two stitches here are pearls. I will leave them be for a moment. Grab the right leg of those two knit stitches. Then I have two pearls. I'm going to skip over them then grab the next two right legs of the knit stitch, and my last two are pearls. Pull that through. Now that's the lifeline for this side of the work. Then we'll flip it over and start again. Make sure you're picking up the same row. So here I've just got the next row below. Skipping those pearls, always catching the right leg of the knit stitches. Skipping those pearls. Now once you've pulled that through, you can remove your needle and we have two lifelines. Now when picking them up, make sure your right leg is leading, so come at them from behind. Then you can safely remove those. 
and you're ready to start knitting again. So to be proactive with your lifeline, you're just going to add a piece of yarn in place every so often. And all you need to do is thread that smooth, thinner yarn on your darning needle and just simply run it under each stitch that's on your knitting needle. Okay, so in a lot of cases, you won't have a lifeline. Maybe you don't wanna put a lifeline in place, maybe you just like to live on the edge and you take your chances. When you realize you have a mistake several rows back, you can remove the project from your needle and rip back to that mistake. But I wanna say a big but here. <laughs> This option, removing your project from your needles and tinking back several rows, it's risky business. You might not be able to pick up the stitches the same way. You might end up with twisted stitches. You might drop more rows than you want to. If you know what you're doing, if you feel really comfortable with this, then and only then should you try this method. I'm throwing it out there because it is an option to fix your mistakes several rows back. I have tried it before. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Now for me, I like to use this method if I'm going to with a really chunky weight yarn. So number six, number five weight yarns because the yarn is bigger, the loops are bigger, and it's easier for me to see the stitches, the direction of them, to be able to put it back on my needles. Just practice first, work up some kind of swatch, rip back several rows, you know, remove it completely from your needle and rip back several rows and just see if you can do it. If you don't feel comfortable doing it in your swatch, definitely don't do it in your project. As a general rule of thumb, use the lifeline. And that's how you can be certain that if you make a mistake, whether it be a complicated stitch pattern or not, a chunky weight yarn or really thin, you can rip back to the lifeline just before your mistake and you'll only have a little bit left that you'll have to knit up. Okay, so that'll wrap it up for this week's episode of Be Hooked TV. Be sure to tell me what you're struggling with in the comments section. If there is a crochet or a knit related topic, that's what I'm here to help you with and that's what Be Hooked TV is for. So leave me that in the comments section so I am sure I cater the future episodes specific to your needs and subscribe to the show. That way you know if that episode has been published. Now, one thing I wanna add here at the end, I've had a few inquiries about the sweaters that I'm wearing here on the show and whether or not I am knitting or crocheting them. And let me tell you, I wish I could knit and crochet that many sweaters for myself, but honestly, I just don't have the time for that. And so what I would like to do, if it's relevant to you, is leave that information in the description. That way you can see what sweater I'm wearing, what clothes I'm wearing, and if you want to pick it up for yourself, you can do that. All right, now that'll do for this week's episode of Be Hooked TV. Thank you so much for joining me. As always, I appreciate it, and I look forward to helping you get better at your craft in next week's episode.